Hi all, welcome to the Salesforce Ultimate Guide channel. In this video, we are going to continue with our trigger scenario 26, entry question 26. When a opportunity stage is changed, create a task record on opportunity and assign it to logged in user, opportunity owner or any user. So what does this mean? So let us say that we have opportunity. There is an opportunity record. I will create one opportunity record. With close date in future and stage as value proposition then once i will click on save right now there is no task task that is created okay then i am going to change the stage from value proposition to any value okay let us say that i am changing to negotiation or review then after clicking on saving this so i should get a task assigned to either uh something like user like a uh, positive uh, owner or any user okay or the current user who is working on so this is the task for this particular trigger so we will start writing the trigger okay so first we need to determine whether it is a after trigger or before trigger we have already come across like if we two objects are involved and uh, then it will be after trigger so i'm going to start with the trigger okay the very first thing i'll create a new trigger on opportunity because once the opportunity is modified then we are going to create a new task okay so that's why i'm going to first select the opportunity okay so it will be not before it will be after then the thing is not insert it is update so as usual we will start just first check the what is the context if trigger dot is after and trigger dot is update only if it is matching trigger after uh, after update then only it has to execute so we are first checking that condition then the very next thing will be we'll starting with the for loop for so we have to iterate through all the new opportunity records so opportunity so it's like opportunity opp and uh, th their list name is trigger dot new so we are iterating through all the new records which are either like updated okay so in this corner like since it is after update whichever the opportunity record is updated that time we are triggering this trigger so the very first condition we need to check whether the stage name got changed or not so the, here they have mentioned uh if opportunity stage is changed okay that's why like i am checking if opportunity so the instance variable is opp so opportunities stage name okay so on opportunity we have the stage name field we can get that using approach here opportunity dot obj uh, then if you go in this one we have stage name okay so this is the one stage name opposite stage name is not equal to the we have to check whether what was the value with the previous one so previous one we can get using trigger dot old map dot get off we have to pass the apostate dot id so that particular record will be fetched then we have to compare with stage name so this will check whether the old value and new value are different so let that will by that we will get to know that uh, stage name got up, updated the very next thing is we have to create a task okay they are given we need to create a task so first i'll draw right like task one equal to new task so i'm creating one new object of the task then we need to determine which all fields are present on the task if we go to any of the task and try to create a new task so these are all the mandatory fields okay so subject is mandatory priority is mandatory and status is mandatory so that's why first we, anyway we have to give all those three fields then only we will be able to create the record i'll open the task object okay in this one so priority uh status priority subject okay i will query that um status subject and then priority 
inject in priority where is the priority okay so i'll first query these uh, and i'll give the values task one dot so first is the status so what are the status values we can check them from here for status these are the values supported i am giving not started that in a single quote then the second one is subject so for the subject we have to select either like call email send letter send quote or other okay so i'll just write call and then the next thing is priority so priority is high normal and low so i'll give it as high okay so we now we got all the mandatory fields okay but the very next thing is they asked us to do like assign it to the login user okay and also create a task record on opportunity so we have to make connection with the opportunity record that can be done using task one dot so if you go to this now there is one field like related to so in this one i can give opportunity uh which is the new investor opportunity i have created okay if we test 600 if we go and do a new task here so related to opportunity test 600 for the related to field now so what is the api name we have to find out if we go to any task task fields and relationship related to so field level is related to but the field api name is what id that will be a lookup to all these objects so any of the object name we can give so this is a what id field that's why we have to write a what id over there task one dot what id is equal to so which id we have to give we are iterating through the opportunities so we can give opportunity dot id okay now uh, we got got it connected with the opportunity the very next thing is we have to get it assigned to some user so on the task which is the field we have to use so if we see from ui new task there is one uh, field like assigned to okay so now we will find out the what is the api name assigned to so assigned to field a label is for that we have a field name as owner id so i'll go and write task one dot owner id is equal to i have to give any user okay let us say that i am working on any i am creating opportunity i am modifying the opportunity so i will i want to give my my id to that owner id so that we can give get by using like we have one uh, user info get uh, user info class info user info not get user id in apex so user info class is there okay you can go through all this within this we have like get user id so when we uh, call this function now we will get the returns the context users login name so i can get my user id so that's why i am going to write user info dot get user id so if i write like this i will get my own id my salesforce.com id so just now we have created a new task and assigned all the values but before inserting uh, we need to create one list of the task because we have to bulkify the code that's why and then within this task list i am going to add the current task yeah. then we have to check the end of the for loop so this is the end of the for loop after that i have to give if task list 
not of task list dot is empty then we have to insert the task so these are all our new tasks so i have to insert this list okay so i think we have already achieved whatever we wanted to achieve so now we have it's time to go and check on the ui uh okay i'm getting some problem here variable does not task list okay uh, if task list is empty okay i need to give it outside okay so we have to define the task list outside the for loop okay uh, then i will go and check it here now it's time to check our program click on new task new opacity very proposition opacity 69 or 97 okay anything click on save then right now there is no task created uh, if i go and modify the stage name from early proposition to negotiation or review anything then if you go and check in the activity we have got a new task which is this so it's assigned to kirthirajalli then subject is call opacity relate, related to opacity 97 priority is high so these are the default values we have given that's why it is uh, creating a task with these values okay so this is a particular uh, working of this particular uh, trigger okay so i think you guys have understood uh, if there is any improvement needed please comment it on the comment section and uh, please share with your friends click on the like button thank you so much